Hello friends, today I am going to conduct my lecture on water pollution. As we know that water is the most abundant and widely distribute, distributed component on the earth and three fourth part of the earth is surrounded with the water for the growth of various plants and animals. Water is very necessary and in various biogeochemical cycling for the completion of biogeochemical cycling water is very important. Now we come to our topic that is water pollution. Generally, when we talk about pollution, pollution means the presence of some unwanted and undesirable components and whenever they are added to the water molecules, water bodies, it is called as the water pollution. So in general, we can say that whenever there is some physical, chemical and biological changes occur into the water which, by which water is unfit for the human consumption and the other activities and it can cause some hazard problem that is called as the water pollution. Now what are the some factors how water pollution cause so there are some factors present into the water that contaminate the water and cause the water pollution. So the factors by which water pollution can cause that factors are called as the water pollutants. Some water pollutants are uh, chemical fertilizers, chemical pesticides, toxic components, some metals and um, oil and grease. So all these components are called as the water pollutants by which water get contaminated. Now. Uh, we are talking about water pollutants, so these pollutants may be occur into the solid form, they may be occur into the gaseous form, they may be occur into the liquid form and whenever we talk about its form, the forms of the pollutants, so they can be presented into mainly in three forms. First form is uh, called as the suspended particles, whenever some suspended particles present into the water bodies and they contaminate the water and they are uh, large in size they make the water dirty and uh, the size of suspended particles are above than one micron so these particles are easily seen by the eyes and so, like some dust particles some presence of some microbes so all these are occur into the suspended pollutants then some pollutants are present into the colloidal form some are present into the colloidal form. So uh, in colloidal form we can say ki they form uh, emulsion with the water and they are they also make the water dirty but uh, the size of colloidal particles are small than suspended particles uh, and these can be removed from water by the some agents is we can use some chemical purifier by to remove the colloidal particles then third particles are called as the soluble pollutants there are some pollutants present into the water they can easily soluble into the water and these pollutants are called as the soluble so they cannot be removed by the filtration method and some chem uh, precipitating agent uh, for the removal of some soluble particles in from the water we should use some physical and chemical method so these are some forms of pollutants first is suspended form second is colloidal form of pollutants and third is soluble form of the pollutants now what are the causes related to water pollution whenever we talk about the causes of water pollution water can be polluted from the industries so from the industrial waste water can be polluted because from the industry the, the whole sewage the whole waste material are transferred to the water resources by this thermal pollution also occur so first reason for the water pollution is industrial waste suppose this is uh, water bodies so sewage waste are transferred transported to the water bodies the second reason we can say agriculture for the agriculture purpose we use chemical fertilizers and pesticides and due to the rainfall they are discharged into the water bodies then due to the mining process due to the mining process 
some dust particles and other contaminated uh, particles they uh, they comes to the water bodies and contaminate the water resources then due to the domestic waste waste which are generated from the kitchen and bathroom and toilets that particular domestic waste should be uh, they transferred into the water bodies and they pollute the water uh, resources then due to the human activities so you due to the human activities sometimes you see that people bath into the rivers and they wash their clothes into the rivers and so due to the some uh, excrete the, uh, from the waste material they excrete from their body so all these occur into the near from the water body so all these are the main reasons why water get polluted so first due to the industrial waste due to the domestic waste due to the agricultural waste mining process human activities all are the main cause of water pollution now effect of water pollution the adverse effect of water pollution first on human health due to the water pollution some disease cause in human beings like cholera diphtheria hepatitis dysentery so such type of disease occur due to the uh, if we consumption of the uh, contaminated water such type of disease can occur then on aquatic life due to the water pollution aquatic life disturb aquatic ecosystem disturb because uh, uh, whenever uh, water get polluted water resources get polluted the dissolved oxygen reduce and it can kill the aquatic animals as well as plants now third is eutrophication occur eutrophication means sometimes there are some nutrient rich lacks are present but due to the nutrient rich lacks which are occur due to the some presence of some algae there is the reduced level of oxygen occur there is decreased level of oxygen present into some water and they due to the decreased level of oxygen some useful microorganisms some useful uh, phytoplanktons are killed that particular process is called as the eutrophication so eutrophication are also occur due to the water pollution then fourth biomagnification biomagnification sometimes some hazardous uh, metals some harmful metals uh, uh, directly or indirectly transfer to the water bodies and they make a food chain first they are consumed by the used by the producers present into the water then these plants are eaten by some zooplankton then zooplankton are eaten by some small fishes small fishes are eaten by large fishes so these metals are transferred from the producer to the large fishes so the increasement of the hazardous metal from one animal to another animal is called as the biomagnification uh, some due to the water pollution so all these are some adverse effect related to water pollution human health related uh, human health then aquatic life eutrophication and biomagnification now which type of methods we use for the prevention of the uh, water pollution so what are the control methods for the water pollution first we can say that uh, uh bathing near the rivers washing the clothes near the river should be restricted second we can say that uh, some plants and microbes which clean the water resources we grow into the water resources then some laws related to control of water pollution should be made by the government and people should be followed strictly then uh, people should be taught people should be aware about what effects of water pollution then we can say that use bio fertilizers bio manure do not use chemical fertilizers and chemical pesticides then do not uh, uh, directly discharge industrial waste and domestic waste into the water first you treat the um, first they are treated and they then they are discharged into the water resources so by using such type of methods we can 
कैन गेट क्योर फ्रॉम दी वाटर पॉल्यूशन थैंक यू